I welcome you all to this lecture session on tourism. We will currently take up for discussion health tourism, which is an emerging branch of tourism. Also known as medical tourism or wellness tourism, it is a relatively new concept which is gaining recognition in many countries as an important segment in its own right. We will explore the multiple facets of this branch of tourism classified under the following heads. History of medical tourism, principles and practice, accreditation, medical tourism in India, risk factors. History of medical tourism. Health tourism or medical tourism is a new concept in tourism. A term coined by enterprising travel agencies and the media, it essentially stands for travel from one country to another, purely for medical treatment. The list of services this segment of travellers looks for is quite formidable, and it comprises complex and specialized surgeries such as knee, hip joint replacements, cardiac surgeries, dental surgeries, cosmetic surgeries, special equipment or techniques for managing genetic disorders, to name a few. Medical tourism is considered an industry in over 50 countries across the world. Despite this popularity, medical tourists today should be wary of quality and the reputation of the healthcare providers they approach. Even thousands of years ago, the concept of medical tourism was prevalent in ancient Greece when pilgrims from across the Mediterranean region made a beeline to Epidoria, a small territory in the Saronic Gulf. The center of attraction was the temple of Asclepius, the healing god, which made Epidoria the first travel destination for medical tourism. Besides, there were spa towns, and also sanitariums, the institutions that provided medical care to the chronically ill. Even in the 18th century England, spas were popular among patients who believed the mineral-rich spring water had the power to cure liver disorders, gout and bronchitis. The main factors that have contributed to the growth of medical tourism are prohibitive cost of health care, time-consuming formalities, affordability of air travel, state-of-the-art health care infrastructure. Procedural delays and long wait times in the UK have triggered medical tourism from that country in a big way. In the year 2009 alone, some 60,000 people from the UK travelled to overseas destinations for treatment. Similarly, Expensive treatment costs in the U.S. have driven Americans to seek health care in other countries. In many developing countries, quality health care, backed by the best of equipment and professionals, is available at a fraction of the prices prevailing in Western countries. For example, a liver transplant that cost 300,000 U.S. dollars in America costs about 91,000 US dollars in Taiwan. Further, delivery of healthcare services by the public healthcare institutions in the US is not fast enough, as they are under a tremendous pressure, and therefore non urgent cases are of low priority. For instance, in the year 2005, Canada had nearly 780,000 people waiting for medical services at its public health institutions for an average of nine weeks to undergo medical procedures that were of non-urgent nature. Popular Origins Medical tourists come from a variety of locations including Europe, Middle East, Japan, the United States and Canada. These are basically wealthy nations where people expect immediate attention and treatment from their public health institutions. A forecast published in 2008 by Deloitte, a UK-based consultancy, 
indicates a tenfold leap of medical tourism from the USA over the next decade. The truth in this prediction is confirmed by the trends in the trade. An estimated 750,000 Americans went abroad for health care in 2007, and this figure rose to a million and a half in 2008. This means a substantial loss of revenue for the U.S. health care providers. Furthermore, there are some insurance-related anomalies. Patients with orthopedic problems in some developed countries are a disadvantaged lot. As health insurance policies do not cover orthopedic surgeries or the prosthetics. Popular Destinations Popular medical travel worldwide destinations include Argentina, Brunei, Cuba, Colombia, Costa Rica, Hong Kong, Hungary, India, Jordan, Lithuania, Malaysia, Singapore, Philippines, UAE, South Korea, Tunisia, Ukraine, and New Zealand. Principles and Practice of Medical Tourism Health tourism today has evolved into a well-organized industry in its own right. Service providers in this specialized branch of tourism serve as an important link between medical tourists with those individuals and institutions who offer quality health care. Most travel agents in North America and Western Europe have diversified their operations to include medical tourism. They enable patients in these regions to take advantage of the excellent equipment and expertise available overseas at just a fraction of what they will be paying in their own countries. Travel agents who target these segments have managers on their payroll exclusively for assisting patients with not only all pre- and post-travel arrangements but also in follow-up care after the patient returns home. Here is how it works. A person who wants to undergo medical treatment abroad contacts a travel agent who has specialized in medical tourism. The travel agent apprises himself of the nature of the ailment with the help of medical reports and other documents carrying details of diagnosis, medication and duration of treatment, etc. What follows is a detailed discussion on the cost of treatment abroad, choice of hospitals before the patient and the facilities thereof, duration of hospitalization, etc. before a consent bond is executed by the patient and the travel agent. Then a letter of recommendation from the institution where the patient was last treated is procured for obtaining medical visa on priority from the embassy of the country concerned. The travel agent allocates an executive to handle all issues related to the patient's stay, hospitalization, transport, or any other requirement. After the treatment is over, the patient can remain in the tourist destination or return home. Accreditation Travel agents should exercise prudence in selecting the right healthcare service provider for his customer. Guiding him in the process are the globally renowned organizations that offer accreditation to healthcare providers worldwide. Here are some such institutions that categorize and certify quality levels of hospitals. Accreditation Canada Joint Commission International, JCI, of the USA, QHA Trent, UKAF, United Kingdom Accreditation Forum, MTA, the Medical Tourism Association. The international healthcare accreditation schemes vary in their quality, size, cost, intent and intensity of marketing. They also vary in terms of cost to hospitals and healthcare institutions making use of them. Accreditation Canada, the oldest international accrediting body. Accreditation Canada is an independent, not-for-profit organization 
accredited by the International Society for Quality in Healthcare. It provides national and international healthcare organizations with an excellent peer review process to assess and improve the services they provide. The assessment criterion is based on very high standards of excellence. Accreditation Canada's programs and guidance have enabled healthcare organizations to implement quality practices in their day-to-day -day operations for over 50 years. Joint Commission International, JCI of the USA Joint Commission International, JCI, has been working with healthcare organizations, ministries of health and global organizations in over 80 countries since 1994. Its focus is on improving the quality standards in patient care by providing accreditation, advisory, educational and certification services. This body, which by itself is accredited by the International Society for Quality in Healthcare, surveys and ensures that the standards, training and processes used by healthcare organizations meet the highest international benchmarks. QHA Trent The QHA Trent Group, QHA, is a private British healthcare company committed to improving quality of healthcare and bringing it within the reach of the general public at a reasonable price. It presents an active, autonomous and holistic accreditation process that goes all out to protect the interests of the patients and healthcare personnel worldwide. UKAF United Kingdom Accreditation Forum The UKAF is an established network of accreditation organizations created for sharing good quality practices for accreditation programs and also implementation of standards within healthcare organizations covering recruitment, training, monitoring and evaluation of peer reviews. MTA the Medical Tourism Association, a global conglomerate comprising international hospitals, healthcare providers, medical travel facilitators, insurance companies and other affiliates. MTA strives to provide highest level of quality in healthcare to patients in a globalized environment. The three cardinal principles of this body are Transparency in quality and pricing, communication, and education. Medical tourism in India. India is the destination most preferred by medical tourists across the world, predicted to grow into a dollar's two billion business with an annual growth of thirty per cent by two thousand fifteen. It attracts a maximum number of health tourists from the USA. India has tens of thousands of skilled physicians and paramedical personnel. Over the last two decades, the economic boom in India has led to the building of medical facilities and infrastructure that rival the very best found in the West. Interestingly, many physicians of Indian origin with a successful practice in Europe and America have returned to India to take advantage of emerging trends in health tourism. While some small countries may be viable as alternatives for minor surgical procedures, India is the only mainstream option that offers a comprehensive solution for any and all medical needs and does this with the highest levels of service, amenities and professional skills. A complex transplant or bypass procedure can be achieved for a tiny fraction of the cost for the same procedure in the US. India has a good number of travel agents who have specialized in medical tourism and known for their professionalism, strategic tie-ups with the country's leading healthcare providers and high standards of service. They have built exemplary and strong working relationships with major players in healthcare sector like the Escorts Group Hospitals, Apollo Group of Hospitals and Research Centers across India. 
The rapport they have built ranges from top doctors and paramedical staff to the board members and administrators of these institutions, which translates into a host of benefits for the tourist. Most of these medical tour operators have personnel both in India and Europe or USA to take care of all aspects of the visitor's travel, stay and treatment. These personnel work in tandem with the organization's leisure travel specialists and are fully equipped to facilitate explorations of India's major tourism attractions by the visitor. These operators serve as a conduit of information between the client and the hospital or clinic and ensure the visitor gets the best facilities and staff to handle their medical needs both during the pre-treatment and the post-treatment periods. It is a proven fact that patients recover more quickly and with a much higher success rate when they incorporate in their daily routine practices that enhance physical, mental and emotional well-being. The health tour operators in India throw in optional extensions that include the world's best guided regimens of Ayurveda, yoga and meditation, which speed up the healing process and pave the way for a perfect alignment of the mind and body. Medical tourism services include surgical procedures and non-surgical procedures. Some of the most sought-after treatments in India include heart surgery, knee transplant, cosmetic surgery, eye surgery, obesity treatment and dental care. India is a hot favourite of patients from developed nations because of its state-of-the-art infrastructure, high-quality standards and technology on par with developed countries, absence of linguistic barriers as English is widely spoken and understood in India, treatment at one-tenth of the cost in Europe or America, India attracts an estimated 150,000 medical tourists annually for its low-cost healthcare procedures. The Government of India has taken note of the growth the industry is poised for and has several policy initiatives in place to attract more tourists in the coming years. It is seriously looking at the possibility of stationing a representative from the Tourism Department in each Indian mission abroad to impart information to tourists. At the regional level, the state governments have woken up to health tourism and what it can do for the state's economy. They have put in place a mechanism by which the goodness of India's ancient schools of medicine like the Ayurveda and Siddha can be made available to the tourists. Efforts are afoot to promote other types of herbal medicines, yoga, and therapeutic practices in a professional manner in pleasant settings. For instance, the state government of Odisha plans to develop an integrated health city in what is the first initiative of its kind, aimed at positioning Bhubaneswar as a complete health destination. The proposed health city will be built on the outskirts of Bhubaneswar city, 150 to 200 acres of land. Industrial Infrastructure Development Corporation of Odisha, IDCO, has prepared the concept note for the project. A health city offers a one-stop shop for all the healthcare needs of an individual, besides having a whole lot of other components, like educational institutions, hospitality, retail and commercial and residential complex, sprawled across acres of land. The health city will also have super-speciality hospital, medical college, residential zones, high-end diagnostic centre and common infrastructure facilities. Destinations like Gurgaon, Chennai and Hyderabad already have running health cities, while one such city is soon coming up in Vishakhapatnam. Another major health tourist attraction in India is Medanta, the medical city in Gurgaon, 
founded by eminent cardiac surgeon Naresh Trehan, spread across 43 acres and includes a world-class super-speciality hospital, research centre, medical and nursing school. The hotel industry on its part is going all out to woo the medical tourists. Many five-star hotels in the country have spas that come with attractive health packages and some of them have been accredited by global agencies. For instance, the luxury spa at the Radisson Blue Plaza Hotel in Delhi has recently received the prestigious NABH accreditation awarded by the Quality Council of India. Spread over three levels, the Radisson Spa features a state-of-the-art fitness studio, spa bar, salon, luxurious spa suites, and offers the best Asian and Western spa therapies. The statistics reveal that India is turning into a prime destination for Omanis and nationals from other countries in the Gulf region who opt for advanced treatment and also want to have a glimpse of the rich Indian cultural heritage. Topping the states in India for medical travellers from the Gulf are southern states of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Kerala, besides Maharashtra, and the national capital, New Delhi. The rise in the number of medical visas issued by Indian embassies in the Gulf countries shows that India is turning into a Medicare hub. The country's major attractions are the state-of-the-art medical facilities, experienced medics, affordable and quality nursing facilities, cheap medicines and traditional health care centres. Fertility Industry Contributions to Health Tourism The fertility industry in India is an integral part of the country's growing medical tourism, which experienced 30% growth in 2000 and 15% growth between 2005 and 2010. A study by the Confederation of Indian Industry, CII, states that India's potential in this field is so lucrative that it can become a dollar's 2.3 billion business by 2012. According to one estimate of research professor Rupa Chanda, Indian Institute of Management, Bangalore, medical tourism is expected to fetch an impressive dollar's 4 trillion on a worldwide scale. As an integral part of the growing medical tourism industry, the fertility industry is slated to bring in additional revenue of dollars one billion to dollars two billion by 2012. India is also turning into the surrogacy outsourcing capital of the world. Commercial surrogacy and egg donor programs are fast becoming significant services provided by the fertility industry. The report says. Risk factors. Notwithstanding the benefits, there is a negative side to medical tourism with some intrinsic risk factors in it. Some destinations in the developing countries are notorious for their poor standards of hygiene and prevalence of infectious diseases. Visitors from the West, unwary and unaccustomed to the conditions in the country of destination, are most vulnerable to deadly diseases like hepatitis B amoebic dysentery, paratyphoid, tuberculosis, etc. The vast differences in the quality of post-operative care across different countries and different hospitals makes it difficult for a tourist to select a hospital with the right credentials. However, accreditation agencies help him to identify the one most suited to his needs in terms of cost and quality. Further, long-distance travel accompanied by restricted mobility soon after surgical treatment can be a hazard in its own way. It exposes the patient to complications like blood clot in the veins or the arteries of the lungs. So, to minimize these problems, the patient must take adequate care to allot time for rest and relaxation in the host country. 
the problems are compounded further. If the hospitals in the destination do not have a proper mechanism to redress complaints from patients. Finally, after returning home, a patient will have limited contact with his or her surgeon. This means that it will be difficult to deal with any complications that may arise later, such as a delayed infection. However, potential risks are nullified by the fact that most nurses in foreign hospitals are registered nurses as opposed to their less qualified and overworked counterparts employed in developed countries. Another handicap that the tourists may have to confront in the host country is the absence of consumer-friendly laws or a mechanism for quick disposal of medical tourism-related lawsuits. Medical tourism is not without ethical issues around it. Illegal purchase of organs and tissues for transplantation has been reported in many developing countries prior to 2007. Medical tourism may raise broader ethical issues for the countries in which it is promoted. For example, in some South Asian countries, a policy of medical tourism for the wealthy may look glaringly incongruent with the pathetic state of the public healthcare institutions patronized by the natives. It is felt it will only widen the divide between the haves and the have-nots. A case in point is Thailand, where the medical facility was so preoccupied with treating the tourists from abroad that the local patients were facing problems in getting proper medical attention. With the advent of globalization, the world has shrunk into a global village. Countries now appear closer than they have ever been. The concept of medical tourism was devised to help global citizens enjoy a holiday along with cost-effective world-class medical care. Over the last decade, India has emerged as the preferred destination for medical or healthcare tourism, capitalizing on its strengths of lower cost, skilled personnel, cultural factors, natural endowments and unique forms of medicine. We hope this lecture session has unveiled all aspects of this emerging branch of tourism, which is poised for a big growth in the future. Thank you.